Hey folks, uh, welcome back. In this video, I will be explaining about the implementation of AWS Application Load Balancer using Terraform. As you can see on the screen, this is the architecture which I am about to implement and this is based on the previous architecture where I have already implemented the um, AWS 3 tier VPC and one bastion host and two private EC2 instances and in in these private to private EC2 instances has a sample application or uh, an HTTPD sample application which is already installed that will be accessed using the application load balancer basically application load balancer is a layer 7 uh, load balancer which mainly is used for the HTTP and HTTPS uh, routing requests okay and uh, coming to its implementation we will be using its terraform module right over here and yeah so if you go to this module again we have the examples and and one more thing this particular module of terraform is used for both application and the network load balancer but in this scenario we will be considering only uh, considering only the application load balancer right so let's get into the example let's go let's go to the example of complete application load balancer that looks something like this over here we have the source and version which will be imported from here and once source and versions are uh, taken we have the load balancer type as application and before uh, explaining these code I want to explain how the load balancer and target group actually works. Well, what are those arguments for the resources from the console? So once we uh, open, when, once you start creating application load balancer from the console, it looks something like this. It requires a name, it requires a VPC, it requires subnets, it requires a security group, and it requires listeners and routing. In the listeners and routing, we will be selecting a target group. The target group comprises of uh, the target types such as uh, an instances or set of public IP addresses, a Lambda functions, uh, application load balancers and so on. Okay, But in this particular example, we will be choosing instances because we already have a private EC, two private EC2 instances which we need to route the request to. So we will be choosing instances and then we have the target name, target group name, the protocol, VPC, the protocol version, and then the health checks and the tags. So these are the fields available over here. And the code which I have already implemented is taken from the module example. So let me explain you the code. The name is taken, load balancer, uh, load balancer type which is application and this belongs to the VPC and then we have the two public subnets the reason I've taken public subnets again is because every load balancer especially the the, the application load balancers sits on uh, the public subnets since they are exposed to the internet so for that reason we will be using the uh, public subnets and then we have the load balancer security group from here and then we have the uh, HTTP TCP listeners. We have defined this block of code because the uh, application load balancer is supposed to listen to which port and which protocol. So that we have defined over here in these two fields. And the third field talks about target group index. Target group index as in as you can see over here, <coughs> the target group index is, is a list. And the list can have multiple elements so one of the element is a map and this map element has the complete information of the target group so since uh, list starts with zero we'll be referring uh, to the first index of the target group which is this right over here and in this particular target group we have created the name prefix and the, the backend protocol the port and the type is going to be instance and we have the uh, default values for the health checks and delays and so on. And we have the protocol version as HTTP 1. Then we have the targets. Here we have the target type as instance and instance details are defined over here. <coughs> so we have the uh, private instance number one 
and private instance number two. So this is the overall code. Uh, uh, this is the overall Terraform code implementation for this particular architecture, right? So and once the uh, once the entire code is ready, again the Terraform lifecycle starts, which is Terraform init, Terraform uh, validate, Terraform plan, and then Terraform apply with auto approve. So once everything is done, so once we have the Terraform uh, commands being implemented successfully we will have the three ec2 instances one in bastion and two in private ec2 instances and we have all three of them right over here and these private uh, ec2 instances are assigned to the backend group of the load balancer okay so let me show you yeah so we have one application load balancer and if we go to the application load balancer <coughs> this is the this is a dns uh, availability zones and then this belongs to the subnets and there's the listeners and it's listening to port 80. so that's okay and it's getting forwarded to app one which is this which is the uh, target group which is right over here so this is the one ending with triple zero nine ending with triple zero nine so this load balancer is forwarding the request to the target group right over here which is and this target group is associated to this load balancer let's check let's take the dns and check yes so now the application is working and this particular application is routing the request from the public HTTP uh, port 80 to the backend EC2 instances, which are in the private subnet. Let's check if it is routing properly. Let's say app one, then metadata.html. So right now it is getting routed to 10.0.1.227. Let's say that's the private IP. okay it's, it's routing to this particular private ip over here 10.0.1.227 and if i refresh this this ip is going to change okay for some reason it's not changing let's try that again there you go so we have so now i have 2.215 2.215 belongs to the second private instance so likewise uh, whatever the uh, the http request this load balancer is going to receive it is going to route the request to both the private uh, private ec2 instances according to this architecture and that's and that's the basic impl basic implementation of the application load balancer in the next video i will be explaining about the about the path based routing uh, with the help of application load balancer for example uh, so okay let's say for example um, akshayasa.com forward slash profile it goes to one in one ec2 instance uh, it says akshayasa.com forward slash summary it goes to another ec2 instance something like that so according to the path based routing the application load balancer is going to route the request to that particular ec2 instance how i'll be explaining that in the next video check it out